Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Yusuf. The Deputy King, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received their Excellencies, the GCC Ministers of Health, who are participating in the seventh meeting of the GCC Ministers of Health Committee and the 84th GCC Health Ministers General Conference hosted by the Kingdom of Bahrain at Rafah Palace. His Royal Highness welcomed the ministers to the Kingdom of Bahrain and wished them success in the outcomes of the meetings that will aim to enhance health cooperation among the GCC countries to achieve their common goals. He highlighted the Council of the GCC Health Minister's role in following up with health plans and programs that aim to continue preserving the health and safety of GCC citizens and residents in accordance with desired aspiration. His Royal Highness affirmed that the exceptional circumstances presented by the global spread of COVID-19 have proven that investing in society is the best way to achieve success in all fields and overcome challenges. He noted the importance of preserving the achievements within the health sector of the GCC countries and continuing to push towards broader horizons to achieve sustainability and providing high quality and efficiency health services in accordance with regional aspirations. His Royal Highness emphasized that the Kingdom of Bahrain's success and its mitigation efforts have been due to tremendous efforts of the Kingdom's frontline healthcare professionals and supporting staff as well as the determination, awareness and responsibility of Bahraini citizens and residents in following measures. Their Excellencies, the GCC Ministers of Health expressed their gratitude for the opportunity to meet His Royal Highness and expressed their thanks and appreciation for the commitment to continue strengthening joint GCC cooperation within the health sector and for Bahrain contribution to the success of the 84th GCC Health Minister's General Conference. The Deputy King His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the Speaker of the National Assembly of Kuwait, Marzouk Ali Al Ghanim, at Rafah Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the strength of historic relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and Kuwait, stressing the importance of continuing to support bilateral cooperation to achieve common goals. His Royal Highness welcomed Al Ghanim to the Kingdom of Bahrain and noted the importance of exchanging best practices and expertise between the two countries and their people. Al Ghanim expressed his gratitude for the opportunity to meet His Royal Highness noting His Royal Highness's commitment to further supporting the strengthening the bilateral relations. The Deputy King, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the Auditor General of the National Audit Office, Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, who presented His Royal Highness with the 18th NAO Annual Report 2020-2021 at Rafah Palace. His Royal Highness underlined the importance of strengthening accountability and responsibility across government work streams to achieve the Kingdom's comprehensive development goals led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He emphasized the importance of upholding the principles of integrity, honesty and professionalism professionalism across government agencies to ensure the preservation and sustainability of public funds that benefit the Kingdom and its citizens. His Royal Highness highlighted that the Kingdom's development is a continuous process that requires the collaboration of public service professionals to support effective practices and internal control mechanisms across government agencies. He commended the role played by the NAO in safeguarding public funds and furthering transparency and integrity across the public sector, noting their professionalism and contribution to providing ethical, financial compliance and performance audits. His Royal Highness highlighted the government agency's commitment to implementing recommendations within the NAO report and welcomed their continued cooperation with the NAO, which has contributed to achieving the Kingdom's goals. He stressed the importance for government agencies that have administrative and financial observations of non-compliance to take the necessary measures to correct these observations and ensure they are not repeated in future reports. Sheikh Ahmed expressed his his gratitude for the opportunity to meet His Royal Highness, highlighting the NAO's, NOA's commitment to achieving its goals by expanding its services to include forensic and digital auditing. He further highlighted His Royal Highness's continued commitment to overseeing the implementation of the NAO recommendations across the public sector, which has provided effective public sector governance and has furthered the Kingdom's development. Sheikh Ahmed outlined that NAO's auditing efforts include various economic, social, health and environmental sectors across the Kingdom, including focusing on financial aspects and the performance of efficiency of government agencies. 
first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, president of the General Sports Authority and president of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attended a football match between Muharraq and Kuwait clubs as part of the semi-final games of the AFC Cup. The event was also attended by the Kuwaiti Parliament Speaker, Marzouk Al Ghanem, the deputy president of the Bahrain Football Federation, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa, the deputy president of the Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa, the president of Muharraq Club, Sheikh Ahmed bin Ali Al Khalifa, Kuwait's ambassador to the kingdom, Sheikh Thamar Al Ahmed Al Sabah, the GSA CEO, Dr. Abdul Rahman Asker, and the president of Kuwait Club, Khalid Al Ghanem. His Highness Sheikh Khalid praised the advanced technical level from Harrah Club as well as its preparation and determination. He wished the club further success and praised the fans for helping the team towards its achievements. He expressed happiness over the club's well-deserved victory and its qualification for the next round and expressed hope for it to win the final match as well. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fawziya Zainal, met with her Kuwaiti counterpart, Marzouk Al Ghanem. She affirmed the deep rooted bilateral ties which are experiencing further development. The two sides discussed various regional developments of mutual interest as well as bilateral cooperation. Zainal affirmed the importance of the work of the parliaments of the two countries and that the kingdom appreciates Kuwait's position on all levels. Al Ghanem praised the leadership of the two countries and the bilateral ties and wished the kingdom further success. The Minister of Information Ali Rumehi participated remotely in the UAE Bahraini Media Forum organized by Dubai Journalist Club in cooperation with the Bahraini Journalist Association in the presence of a number of officials. Rumehi affirmed the importance of investing in the human capital through enhanced cooperation and the exchange of expertise to achieve media sustainability on the regional and international levels. He praised the role of Dubai Journalist Club headed by Mona al and its contributions to enhance the bilateral cooperation. The Minister affirmed that the forum 
Forum presents a successful story between the two countries, especially in regards to overcoming the challenges of the pandemic. He stressed the importance of spreading the values of tolerance and peace and combating terrorism. Romehi stressed ca the capabilities of the Kingdom of Bahrain and the UAE, especially in regards to implementing digital technology and AI to develop the media message. He expressed keenness to further enhance the bilateral cooperation to raise the status of the two countries on the international levels. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zaid Zayani, chaired the 61st meeting of the Commercial Cooperation Committee in the Kingdom. The meeting was held in the presence of industry ministers from the GCC and their accompanying delegations, with the participation of the GCC Secretary General, Dr. Nayef Al Hajraf. Senior officials from the GCC industry ministries also attended the meeting. Minister Zayani praised the successful efforts of the previous Commercial Cooperation Meeting, which was held remotely, presided by the Kingdom of Bahrain. The meeting also chaired the 48th Industrial Cooperation meeting in the presence of participating GCC ministers of commerce and Gulf delegations. In his opening speech, the minister praised the results of the previous meeting chaired by the UAE Minister of Industry and Technology, Dr. Sultan bin Ahmed al Jabr. He praised the efforts of the General Secretariat, asserting that it highlights the achievements of the Industrial Cooperation Committee and the achievements of the GCC in the fields of commerce, industry and economy. The industry minister chaired a GCC meeting of entrepreneurs with it intended to enhance cooperation across ministries of industry and commerce. He affirmed that small and medium-sized enterprises are the engine of economic growth and that the effects of the pandemic make cooperation in this field more urgent. He also praised the efforts of GCC leaderships in containing the pandemic, which has had a positive impact on such enterprises. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zayed Zayani, chaired the ministerial meeting of his GCC counterparts with the attendance of the GCC Secretary General, Nayef Al Hajraf. He welcomed the attendees and affirmed that the meeting is intended to enhance cooperation between the public and private sectors in the GCC in all economic and commercial fields, thanks to their importance in the economic performance of these countries on the regional and international levels. A bold campaign to expand Bahrain's green area by planting more than 50,000 trees and shrubs was launched by the National Initiative for Agricultural Development. The campaign Forever Green is under the patronage of Her Royal Highness, the consort of His Majesty the King and President of NIAD Consultative Council, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, and it aims to support the state's strategies through coordination with the public and private sectors to sustain the development of the agricultural sector. To speak more about this, we are joined by the Secretary General of the NIAD of the Agricultural Sector, Sheikh Amaram bint Isa Al Khalifa. Hello, Sheikh Amaram. Tell us more about the campaign and its initiatives, and how can the audience take part in it? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you for having me. Um, the campaign uh, in its first stage is aiming to uh, help the various municipalities in Bahrain to, to uh, carry out a number of projects that have been waiting in the pipeline for, for funding. Um, so we managed to uh, record a number of areas in each of the four governorates of Bahrain. And uh, we went and sought some um, partnership with uh, private sector companies who may be interested in um, uh, sponsoring these locations and, and greening these areas in Bahrain. Uh, so this is the initial focus of, of the campaign. Um, it, will, it will comprise 27 locations all over the country. Um, some of them are beachfronts and some of them are uh, public walkways and others are uh, streets and roads uh, in, in various areas in the country. Uh, the idea obviously is to uh, have an environmental impact and uh, to reduce uh, the carbon and to make sure that we try to contribute to the uh, uh, adverse effects of um, global warming and try to try to battle them or, or uh, overcome them by increasing the number of trees uh, and improving the quality of our environment so um, that's the aim that we're currently working on under under the campaign in its first stage but we also welcome any ideas for uh, spreading greenery anywhere so if there's an organization out there that is interested in, in greening its premises um, then we'll be more than happy to uh, to work with them and collaborate and plan and uh, implement uh, such uh, planting projects. Individuals also, if they feel that they would like to contribute, what they can do is they can uh, acquire their their, uh, their own uh, preferred trees and. 
plant them in their houses or in their workplaces. And then if they can send us an image of, of the tree that they have planted with the tag uh, of uh, Forever Green, then uh, we will definitely publicize the, the, their contribution, but we will also um, write, uh, count it as the, the total that we're hoping to achieve. The 50,000 that we mentioned in the media will be covered in the public spaces in the 27 areas that I mentioned in the beginning of my description. Uh, but if people and organizations are interested to contribute to the campaign on their own, we would love to uh, go up to double that number or much higher. The sky is the limit. Um, so uh, we are very interested in documenting every effort for planting. Um, so those who are interested and want to do something can contact the National Initiative for Agriculture Development in order for us to uh, uh, document their efforts and um, collect statistics that this is Bahrain's effort towards greening uh, the, the country and also contributing to the health of the world uh, in general. Secretary General of the National Initiative for the Development of the Agricultural Sector, Sheikh Amaran bint Isa Al Khalifa, thank you for joining us. His Highness Sheikh Nasser Artificial Intelligence Research and Development Center has won the Best Artificial Intelligence in Education Award at the Gulf and Middle East Information Technology Exhibition and Conference in Dubai. The project, wa which was presented by the center affiliated with Nasser Vocational Training Center, demonstrated exceptional IT excellence in pioneering evidence learning solutions. To speak more about this, we are joined by the Executive Advisor at His Highness Sheikh Nasser Artificial Intelligence Research and Development Center, Dr. Jason Haji. Hello, Dr. Jason. Tell us how this award reflects the development of NVTC in this regard and what is planned to further move forward. Uh, good evening. Uh, obviously, this is an achievement for Bahrain and uh, uh, His Highness Sheikh Nasser's uh, uh, AI's Research and Development Center. Uh, the solutions that we have put in place for this prestigious award, which has been starting from 1986 and for the first time Bahraini institutes specifically in education been able to win this award specifically in innovation and the modern technologies such as artificial intelligence amongst uh, 240 participants it's on Sheikh Nasser's uh, research development part of NVTC been able to with his unique solutions uh, win an award Obviously, these innovations and the solutions been developed by young Bahraini men and women uh, over the past few months to develop systems such as predictions, analysis, and forecasting for the use of artificial intelligence. The future projects that the center is embarking upon are covering different verticals in the industry, whether they are private or public including, but not uh, restricted to oil and gas, aluminium, shipping, cards payments, the health sector, banking, and education. Of course, these are all uh, locally and in-house evolved solutions that using the resources of the centers. And the aim is eventually to become a regional excellence center and be able to export our products to the rest of the GCC and the Middle East. And not to say that this is just the beginning of the long journey of innovations from Bahraini uh, innovators and entrepreneurs. The Executive Advisor at His Highness Sheikh Nasser Artificial Intelligence Research and Development Center, Dr. Jasim Haji, thank you for joining us.